here is a propane kit. And this is how it came in this box. And it's called a Type C kit. This kit allows you to run the generator on propane, natural gas, and then, of course, regular gasoline. So this comes from a company called U.S. Carburation. Um, so this is, uh, these are the parts that are in it. I'll go ahead and lay them out. Shipping, it was, I think it was right at $200. Here's the kit, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, walk through the instructions and then install it. So this is the brand new Costco generator that we just bought. It's a Champion 9,000 starting watts, 7,000 running watts. And if you're interested, it's model number 41532. And again, we bought this from Costco. I'm going to go ahead and walk through the process and film it as I go. Okay, so the first step we need to do is remove the air box from the carburetor. And that's, that's the carburetor right there. Unhook the cover for the air box. That reveals the air filter. So here's the air filter housing. This is a little air filter sponge. Once we remove that, it reveals a screw right there to remove the air air box, and it's got all these screws in the corners. Looks like we need to remove first in order to reach this screw, and there's one back behind this little plastic grill. So I'll go ahead and remove all of those screws. Uh, there's this uh, ventilation tube that goes to the crankcase and I'm going to actually just pop that out so I can reach these two screws um, to access the, uh, the carburetor. So those are probably a 10 millimeter. Still connected down here on the inside it looks like. I can feel a screw right back behind this little stud. Okay, so now I got the screw removed. It was on the back side of this air case uh, and it attached to this bracket down here. It was pretty hard to reach, so it took me a little while to get it off. And then this vacuum hose attached to the box comes out here. And now we are access to the carburetor. And this is where we begin to start putting the, the propane kit on the generator. So the very first part we're going to use is this adapter. And this is what uh, actually feeds the propane right into the carburetor. There's the carburetor. This is the adapter that attached to the carburetor. It has on the uh, adapter a label to show arrows pointing which way the airflow should go. We're just going to put the arrows facing towards the carburetor. That's which way the the air will flow. Now, once it goes right over these bolts, they'll see, notice that the bolts aren't long enough. So the kit actually comes with some extensions. So that's pretty cool. So go ahead and open the extensions and put those in place. Now we're going to go ahead and put the gasket that it was included. Let's go like this. There's the new gasket. So it's pretty cool. It comes with the gasket. At that point, we attempt to put the air box back in place. The challenge with this will be possibly not enough clearance because the bar is in the way. So unfortunately, uh, according to the instructions, you actually have to cut this support off where the air box goes. I guess you have to make some sacrifices in order to install this kit. Uh, the kit does come with some plastic caps, so once I cut this off, make it look like a more finished look. So I'm going to go ahead and take my hacksaw and cut this off. Okay, we got the top cut made. And now we're going to make the bottom cut. Okay, so I've removed the wheel off the axle, then I actually stuck it under here kind of as a brace to support it. 
um, so that I could get better access to the bottom of the uh, support bar that I'm going to have to cut it off all the way down here and the wheel was in the way to get a good angle with my hacksaw so got the wheel off and now I'm going to cut it away now we got the support cut away let's see if the air box now fits in place hopefully I don't have to cut away anymore this is kind of a close-up of the bottom of the air box right here is a welded cap screw it goes through the back and it attaches to a uh, this silver bracket back here um, since it's been extended out that screw no longer reaches the bracket so the kit comes with an extended screw and a a sleeve that goes between the airbox housing and the bracket and then the screw will go through between the two and uh, attach the air housing so I need to drill a hole right beside this welded cap screw right here The bolt on the back and it's ready to go. Now we're just going to go ahead and put everything back together and I'm just going to fast forward the tape here as I reassemble the air box. This is the this crankcase ventilation hose needs to be extended. You can see it doesn't quite fit at the right angle like it, it should originally and since we put in the adapter it um, needs to be extended also. The kit comes with uh, an adapter which extends this hose so go ahead and cut this uh, hose and I'm going to put the adapter in. Now we have the ventilation hose installed. We have this other vacuum hose that connects from the air box down to a vacuum canister. So we'll go ahead and connect that back up. So this will conclude part one of the installation of the propane kit. See the link for part two in the description below.